Good medical morning. This is Adam from World's Greatest Medical, and today we're going to look at an RNA virus called the Coxsackie virus. That can't be right, can it? Well, let's take a look right about now. So last week, my wife Jennifer was running a 99 degree fever. She was achy, sweaty, and she had a very sore throat. When I looked in the back of her throat, I saw one or two small pustules. Now, as you know, Jennifer doesn't have tonsils anymore. Usually when she had something like this, it was tonsillitis. So what was it? We ran her over to her primary care physician in Florida to see what he had to say. So my primary care physician told me that the virus is actually an RNA virus, and it may cause hand, foot, and mouth disease, HFMD, as well as other diseases of the lungs, heart, and muscles. HFMD usually occurs in children, but can occur in adults. The majority of these infections are self-limiting, so I'll tell you what the treatment is here in a moment. Before I continue, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you like medical videos, and then tell YouTube that you want all of our updates by clicking the notification bell and selecting All Updates. So one thing I'll tell you is that this condition is extremely contagious. So if you know somebody with it, go ahead and stay away from them. Don't kiss them, don't make out with them, and generally don't share cups and stay away from them. In my case, I slept in another room because I didn't want open mouth disease. Yuck. So what are the symptoms? Well, fever, just feeling ill in general, a skin rash, sore throat, small blisters that ulcerate in the back of the throat. So basically, if a doctor looks in the back of your throat and sees some small blisters, it's probably this. And generally speaking, HFMD usually resolves itself within 10 days with no scarring. So, long story short, there's really no treatment. All you have to do is just wait it out. You can take some ibuprofen, try to relax, get plenty of fluids, but generally speaking, there's nothing you can do about it. So according to WebMD, the incubation period is usually just a day or two, and really no more than five days. So if you've been exposed to it, but it was more than five days ago, you're likely okay. Avoiding it is pretty much like any other flu or cold. Just avoid the person, wash your hands a lot, and stay away. But do you have any tips for me on how you prevent colds and flus when you're indoors with a person who's sick? I'd love to hear from you because I don't want to get sick myself. Go ahead and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Click like and again subscribe. Click the notification bell for all of our updates. And we're glad we joined you. We've really appreciated those people who leave comments on all of our videos and say nice things. You're a part of our family and I want to be a part of yours, so thank you so much. Leave those comments below, click like, and come back regular. We have new videos all the time. I'm Adam for Watson. We are out of here. Adios, amigos. And make sure to check out Rest More. Coming up next is my favorite testimonial. For months now, I've had trouble sleeping. I wake up every few hours. I get up early in the morning, I'm exhausted for the rest of the day. I didn't know what to do about it, so I tried some rest more. And just after a couple weeks, I'm finding myself sleeping all through the night, waking up fresh and rested in the mornings. I highly recommend this for anyone who has trouble sleeping, especially if you're a senior citizen like I am. Restmore is an essential addition to your medicine cabinet for those times you need to fall asleep but can't. Remember, when you just need more rest, Get rest more. Now available on Amazon. Good night.